Hey, welcome back. 63 Lincoln Continental, we named the White Lightning. Well, you can guess why. We're painting it bright white, of course. This thing is gonna be pretty epic though. I'll show you the rendering right now. So since we're starting off in the middle of this project, I kinda wanna give you an overview of what we already did. So catch you up to speed, and then uh, you can follow along as we finish the car. As you can see in the picture here below, this thing is horrible to start with. However, after we stripped the body in the undercarriage, we realized, hey, this car really has no major rust. So we did all the body work, gapping, all that fun stuff, and got a car ready for uh, paint. Brought it over to the fab shop, and right now the boys are putting in the 4L65E transmission with a 470 horse LS motor. Yeah, we kind of popular in the Lincoln game as far as putting Chevy motors and Ford cars. We also do Fords, so don't get all crazy. Fords and Fords, you know? Anyway, we stripped the whole bottom of the car, we bedlined it, we installed all our suspension. Uh, our goal is to have it running uh, within the next couple weeks here and back into the body shop to get painted and then out for interior. So right now the boys are putting in the transmission 4L65E that we have built up uh, to hold the horsepower. This is almost 500 horse, which seems like a lot, but in a heavy car like this, it just makes it move down the road pretty nice. So right now they're putting the housing bolts in, bolts in and uh, then we'll get a measure for drive shaft. Uh, on the Project White Lightning, <laughs> we're going to put this fuel tank in. Uh, this one is made with a fuel injection pump in it. This will actually uh, has a, a pump inside the tank to uh, go to the LS motor that we're putting in this one. So right now we're going to put this in, kind of give you a quick idea of how we do this. And uh, it's pretty simple and pretty easy, a couple straps in the tank. So here we go. Too long is it? Two or three inches. So take this and cut this off. Take about to right where that rust is off. Let's just try that first. So now we got this thing cut to fit. Looks good. We're gonna powder coat it, get it in the car, and uh, finish this puppy up. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and put exhaust on this thing. We're gonna run two and a half inch piping. Um, we got kind of a specific route we run and we try to get everything tucked up as high as possible because this is on airbags and it lays flat. Uh, a little trick I learned back in the day is to use a piece of welding rod, put some bends in it, and then kind of map out your uh, direction you're gonna go. And once you have that, you can bend a piece of tubing and kind of get a rough idea. Uh, where you're gonna cut and put together and all that fun stuff. Uh, so let's get to it. It's Monday. <laughs> anyway, one of my friends, uh, she's got this caddy and she uh, says it won't start, won't work. And so she wants to drop it off so we can see if we can get it fired up for it. It's got an LS in it already. Somebody else did it. Uh, it's, a, it's a clean car and she's super cool. So we're about to check this out and hopefully get it fixed quick and back in their hands. Let me uh, get it down and then let me put a charger on it, see if I can get it started. Hey, do you want to see if you can get this brake off this car? It's like the speaker's jamming up. One of the things that we found once we uh, got her car off the tow truck, uh, the reason why it wouldn't start is, uh, well, this little wire here, you can see how crispy it is and how burnt it is. Uh, nobody put any insulator on it, didn't fasten it properly, so this actually burned against the back of the alternator, so that made that thing junk. 
Um, and while we're in there, she wants us to check everything else out. Uh, these bags have about a four or five year expectancy, a life expectancy. You can see they're, they're getting pretty brittle at the, ed the edges of them. And what we did is uh, just replace them for her and uh, now she's ready to rock and roll again. Well, another problem we have with these Lincolns is the heater AC systems, even if you go through it all, don't work 110%. So what we decided to do is try to make the cars look cleaner. And by doing that, we take off all the junk off the firewall. Uh, this car we're actually rewiring because the wiring is atrocious as well. And we're gonna put in our new firewall plate. This is something that we designed. Uh, right now we're gonna test fit it to make sure it fits properly. Um, mark all the holes for the studs and we like to try to use the holes that are already in the firewall that way you don't have to drill. Uh, occasionally there is a hole or two you have to drill. And then we'll also make uh, studs in this so your new AC system, which we use Resto Mod, will bolt right to it. So it makes uh, install a, a, somewhat of a breeze. I mean, still, you still have to take the dash out and you still have to take everything out of the engine compartment as far as the EAC goes. But we try to make it as easy as possible if you're doing it at home on your own. So uh, right now I'm gonna put this in and then John's gonna mark the holes. Close? My arms are running out of blood. I think you got it. The other thing this does is it actually gives you a shaved firewall. So these are aluminum. You can paint them to match your engine compartment or you can paint them to match your car or whatever. And then when it's done, you throw it in and it looks like a shaved firewall and you don't have to do all the welding and grinding and all the body work and all that stuff. So now we got our holes marked. We're going to go ahead and uh, put studs in the back and uh, then set up for the AC unit. You want to pull the exhaust manifolds off this real quick yeah. so we can send those to get uh, coated and rack that car. Well, been at this game for 20 years. April 1st is the 20th year anniversary, which is, which is pretty exciting. But I'm having a little issue right now with the customer. Just some, some people you just can't work with, you know? Like, I, I get it, I'm not mad. Uh, I really wanted to finish this project. We had a good jump on it, and it turned out pretty sick so far, but uh, the communication and the trust level and all that fun stuff is just not there to be honest with you i just he's one of those people when i start talking to him my blood starts getting going and my blood pressure goes through the roof and i'm like you know we we do this every day we've been doing it for 20 years we've built probably thousands of lincolns and it just it's just hard being questioned all the time and not trusted so i'm gonna pull the plug on this one i'm gonna let the customer know that He's got to come pick up his car and his parts, and I apologize, but uh, better luck down the road, and hope he uh, gets his dream car built. And uh, it is what it is, man. Can't build them all, right? It always works like that. So today, we're here, and we just finished this beautiful Cadillac. Well, honestly, we didn't do a lot. We just changed out some bags, did a little service work, and uh, got her back on the road again for my friend Kat. Hi, guys. What do you think? You ready to go? I am. Ready to go. I love it. So I was going to ask you, like, how much do you drive this thing? A lot. Like, every weekend, if I'm not driving it, my son's driving it. You know, it, I worked hard to get here, to get to this point. This means a lot to me. I, I've had it for about eight years now, and Taking it from different shop to different shop, not always having the best of luck, mm. people giving me the runaround, not answering their phone calls, not answering me. A tough industry to follow with having integrity altogether. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, Jeff, once I found you, I was like, wait, what? You act you actually answer the phone? <laughs> you actually call me back? You mm -hmm. actually do the work? Mm -hmm. So it's refreshing, it's nice to see a business Thank really you. have that integrity and Thank really you. just do what they say they're gonna do and trustworthy, like not beat around the bush. And I mean, I'm a female in this industry of predominantly males, yep. and uh, this you're industry. taking advantage of a lot. So I appreciate you and your business and your beautiful car, and thank you for being devious. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, devious. <laughs> Another satisfied customer. Love to see that. Great people.